Welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss Russia's achievements in the Arctic and compare them with those of Western countries. The Arctic is a strategically important region due to its vast resources and unique geographical position. In this video we will explore how Russia successfully exploits the Arctic, develops infrastructure, implements energy projects, and strengthens its geopolitical positions. Russia's exploration of the Arctic, before delving into modern achievements, it's important to note that Russia played a key role in the exploration and study of the Arctic. The first Russian expeditions began exploring the Arctic in the 17th century, when Semyon Deznev crossed the Bering Strait in 1648. Later in the 18th century, Vitus Bering and Alexei Chirikov conducted expeditions that led to the discovery of the coasts of Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. These explorations laid the foundation for further Arctic development and solidified Russia's position as a leading Arctic power. Infrastructure Development One of the key elements of Russia's success in the Arctic is its developed infrastructure. Russia has the world's largest fleet of nuclear icebreakers, which ensures year-round navigation along the northern sea route. These powerful icebreakers, such as Arctica and Cyber, paved the way for ships transporting goods between Europe and Asia. The Norwegian Sea Route shortens delivery times and reduces transportation costs, making it attractive to international trading companies. In 2020, cargo traffic along the NSR amounted to about 33 million tons, and it is planned that by 2024 this figure will increase to 80 million tons. Western countries, such as the USA and Canada, significantly lag in developing their icebreaker fleets, limiting their capabilities in Arctic exploration and cargo transportation in harsh climates. Energy Projects Russia is successfully implementing major energy projects in the Arctic, strengthening its position in the global hydrocarbon market. Notable among these projects are Yamal LNG and Arctic LNG2, which are among the largest LNG plants in the world. These projects not only increase gas production volumes but also contribute to the development of infrastructure and logistics in the region. The Yamal LNG project includes gas production at the South Tambiskoy field and its processing at the LNG plant. This plant, commissioned in 2017, has already proven its effectiveness. In 2020, Yimul LNG produced about 18.8 million tons of LNG, significantly boosting Russia's LNG exports to Asian and European markets. The Arctic LNG-2 project involves the construction of another plant on the Gaidan Peninsula, with a capacity of about 19.8 million tons of LNG per year. Western countries, such as the USA and Canada, are also developing their projects in the Arctic, but face stricter environmental regulations and political restrictions, slowing their implementation. For example, in the USA, the project to extract oil in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, ANMAR, has been repeatedly delayed due to environmental protests and legal battles. Scientific Research and Environmental Initiatives Russia actively invests in scientific research in the Arctic. Scientific stations and research centers, such as the new station on Franz Josef Land, allow for important environmental and climate studies. These studies help to better understand climate change and its impact on the Arctic ecosystem. Russia also creates international research programs inviting scientists from around the world to collaborate on projects related to climate change and sustainable development in Arctic regions. For instance, the Russian program Arctic Territory of Dialogue annually gathers experts and politicians to discuss the future of the Arctic and develop joint solutions for its development. Western countries also conduct active research in the Arctic, but often face insufficient funding and political disagreements, slowing progress in this area. Russia, in turn, places great importance on the environmental aspects of Arctic exploration. Geopolitical Influence The exploration of the Arctic allows Russia to strengthen its geopolitical positions. Control of the Northern Sea Route gives Russia a strategic advantage in international trade, attracting partners from Asia and Europe. This route is becoming increasingly important for global trade and Russia is actively developing its infrastructure to ensure safe and efficient transportation. The Russian government actively cooperates with international partners to develop the NSR and ensure its accessibility to foreign shipping companies. For example, China, one of Russia's largest trading partners, shows great interest in using the NSR for transporting goods to Europe, opening new opportunities for economic cooperation between countries. Western countries, such as the USA and Canada, are trying to strengthen their presence in the Arctic, but face infrastructure and funding limitations. For example, in the USA, there is a need to modernize the icebreaker fleet, but this process is slow due to limited budgets and bureaucratic hurdles. While Western countries are working to strengthen their positions, Russia is already reaping the benefits of years of investment and strategic planning. Environmental and Climate Aspects Russia places great importance on the environmental aspects of Arctic exploration. Implementing strict environmental standards and technologies that minimize negative environmental impacts is an important part of Russia's Arctic strategy. 
For example, advanced technologies are used in hydrocarbon extraction projects to help reduce emissions and prevent oil spills. Russian companies, such as Gazprom and Rosneft, actively implement environmental innovations in their projects. For instance, modern monitoring and control systems are used at fields to monitor environmental conditions, allowing for rapid response to any changes and preventing negative consequences. Restoration work is also carried out to rehabilitate ecosystems damaged during resource extraction. Western countries also actively work on reducing the environmental impact of their Arctic projects. For example, Canada and Norway implement strict environmental standards and develop new technologies to protect the Arctic ecosystem. However, they face stricter regulations and public pressure, sometimes slowing project implementation. Russia, with significant resources and experience, successfully addresses these challenges and continues to develop its projects in line with international environmental standards. Key Projects and Their Significance Let's take a closer look at several key projects demonstrating Russia's achievements in the Arctic. Center for the Construction of Large Capacity Marine Structures in Belokomenka. This project, implemented by Novatech, includes the construction of a complex for creating large capacity marine structures, such as platforms for oil and gas extraction. The complex will include shipyards and production facilities capable of handling large marine structures. It is expected to become a key element for developing Arctic shelf fields. Port of Sabeta. The Port of Sabeta on the Yemel Peninsula is a key logistics hub for the Yemel LNG and Arctic LNG2 projects. It allows year-round shipment of LNG and other hydrocarbons to international markets. The port also plays an important role in supporting navigation along the northern sea route. Modernization and expansion of the Port of Sabeta allow increasing cargo turnover and improving the region's logistics infrastructure. Development of Railway and Aviation Infrastructure Russia actively develops transport infrastructure in the Arctic, including the construction of new railways and airports. For example, the Northern Latitudinal Railway project will connect the Yamala Nenets Autonomous Okrug with the rest of the country, improving access to Arctic regions and reducing cargo delivery times. New airports are also being built and existing ones are being modernized, ensuring year-round accessibility of the region for passengers and cargo. These projects illustrate Russia's significant progress in the Arctic and highlight its ability to leverage the region's potential for economic growth and geopolitical influence. While Western countries continue to strengthen their positions, Russia is already reaping the benefits of long-term investments and strategic planning. That's all for today. Do you think Russia can maintain its leadership in the Arctic? Subscribe to the channel and like.